Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and today I wanted to share with you my summer bag setup. Now I know a lot of you guys in the Northern Hemisphere are in the middle of winter at the moment but here in Australia, down under, we are in the thick of summer. So this is my summertime bag setup. Now, if you are new to my channel and you haven't seen my previous what's in my bag videos, what I have decided to do is have a different bag for each season. So I've got a summertime bag, winter bag, autumn bag and spring bag, all different colours. And I like to coordinate all my accessories with my bag. Uh, this one, not 100% match, but... It, it was close enough for me. I'm happy with it. So I'll leave a link to my previous videos in the description box below. I've already done a winter bag and spring bag setup. So I'll leave a link to all those videos below and you can check them out. And this one is my summer bag. So for summer, I've went with a mint blue, minty slash blue color scheme. The bag is actually blue, but most of the accessories are all in a minty color. So the bag itself was from, i um, pretty sure, either eBay or AliExpress. Uh, I will find the links for all of these products but, and leave them in the description box below. So if you're interested in anything you see in the video, I will leave links for everything there. So yeah, the bag was about $30, let's say from AliExpress, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I'll just show you exactly what I've got in it. So I'm going to empty it out first and then show you the bag itself. And then we'll go through each of the stuff that I have in it as well. Okay, so this is the bag itself. It's Angel Kiss brand. It's a beautiful soft leather. Um, obviously, I don't think it's real leather. I'm pretty sure it's faux leather but it's very, very soft. It has a pocket on the back here, just a plain pocket. It has two straps. It also came with a big shoulder strap as well, if that's what you like. Um, so they would attach onto these clips here. At the front, it's got two pockets here, which are full functioning pockets. I've just got my security card in there for work. It also has two little pockets on the front here, which are also functioning pockets, as well as two pockets on the side. So it's a really great bag, actually. It fits quite a lot in it. Inside, we have quite a few compartments as well. It's got two main zip compartments. So you've got your back zip compartment and your front zip compartment. And then each one of those, this one has a zip pocket at the back here. And then this one has like your, like your phone little pockets there. So yeah, it's quite a good bag. It's, it's, a, it's not too big, but it does fit a lot in it. So that's the bag that I'm actually using. Now I'll show you all my accessories that go in it and then I will show you what it all looks like when it's in there. So first up, obviously you guys, if you've seen my previous video to this, this is my planner for 2020. It's my summertime planner, which is in the mint color. I'm not going to go through that because I've already done a whole separate video on that, but it is the Filofax Domino in mint and it's the soft covered one. So it's a very flexible cover. So that's my planner for 2020. Now, what I also have in my bag, this little pouch was from eBay. This is a brilliant little pouch. I've got these in all the colors for my other bags as well. It fits so much in it. It's just such a good little size, but it fits so much. So what I put in this one is mainly all my coins and just some cards, like, you know, the ones where you get, you got to get them marked off and then you get free from Family Cuts and that's my nail one as well. So just a couple of little cards in there that I don't keep in my phone. Then in the middle section, I keep a um, little few little medical supplies. So I always have my tweezers for whisker emergencies. Um, <laughs> I've got my little screwdriver for my glasses, which are always handy. 
um, even though my eye has healed, I still keep a um, polyvisc um, lubricating eye ointment as well as a vial in here, just in case anything happens because it's, yeah. I have a packet of Panadol just for headache emergencies. I've got just a very few basic supplies of makeup. So I've got a lipstick, lip gloss, eyeliner, mascara and lip liner, just in some very basic colours. So if I feel like sprucing up while I'm at work, I've got them there. Um, and I also have this little packet of emery boards just for, you know, nail emergencies like this one while I'm at work. And they just sort of, each little individual one will just snap off. Don't know where I got these from. Oh, Sally Hansen. So maybe um, Priceline or $2 shop. I'm not sure. And then I also just keep a Nivea lip butter in there as well. Just like a lip, um, what do you call it? Lip balm. So that's the middle section of this pouch. And then for the back section, I just keep a selection of coloured pens so that I can use in my diary or in my planner. So yeah, it's such a tiny little pouch, but it fits so much in. And I mean, you could jam pack that with a hell of a lot more. And again, that was from um, eBay or I think it was eBay, this one. So yeah, great little pouch that. Also from eBay was a little disposable, not disposable, a little reusable shopping bag. I just keep that in my bag for an emergency because I'm always forgetting shopping bags. Also a eyeglass case. You can see the theme is kind of like the blues, mints and that. It, yeah, I couldn't get it exactly matching, but I'm pretty happy with it <laughs> the way it is. Um, it's a bit anal to have it all matching, but anyway. So this is just my glasses case. I just keep my glasses in there. Uh, that again was from eBay. Also, I have this little pouch here. Now, this is a sanitary pad holder pouch, which I do have a sanitary pad tucked in there. But what I mainly got this for is just to keep my headphones and charger cable just not loose in the bag and getting damaged. Uh, this one has actually broken, so I've got a replacement coming for that. Um, that's a random pink one that I just had. But yeah, I also picked up these blue matching headphones and a blue charger cable, super cheap off eBay, like a couple of dollars for each one. And for me, they work perfectly fine. I mean, I'm not listening to a lot of music. I just listen to a lot of podcasts and audio books, so... This, the quality of the headphones is more than enough for what I need. I don't need, you know, Boise headphones or anything like that. So that's my little pouch. And the pouch, again, was also from um, eBay. So it's just nice to keep it all together. I also have my phone wallet here. Now, my phone is not currently in this because I'm filming on it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, no, it's on my desk. I thought I lost my credit card for a minute there. Um, so, yeah, I basically just keep my credit card, my FPOS card and my driver's license in there. So sometimes if I don't want to take my whole bag, I've got everything I need just in my little phone case. And that phone case, again, was from eBay. Brilliant. Um, I think it was only about $10, something like that. So that's also in there. What I also have here is my house keys. So this little keychain was also from eBay and that's my uh, garage opener. And I've also got a little two terabyte gig stick hanging off my key ring just in case I ever need it. And then just my house keys on there. So that's all that. Now I also, always have a can of deodorant in my bag and the one that I just happen to like using is Dove and lucky it matches with my blue theme so that's always in my handbag now the stuff that is not in my handbag but I actually keep at work I've got a water bottle here that's a Michelle Bridges water bottle. She was a trainer on the Australian Biggest Loser. She's got a range of fitness gear and that sort of thing out. So, I mean, I'm not particularly like 
a fan or anything or I'm not not a fan but uh, I just picked it up because it matched my color basically and it's a nice big bottle it's a one liter bottle too so this stays on my desk at work this is my mug for summer which is my matching color scheme this always stays on my desk at work as well so those are together on my desk and usually I have my phone my planner and my eyeglasses case all out on my desk as well so they're all sort of coordinating on my desk and this also is what I leave at work normally so this I actually bought off eBay as well it's a little cosmetic or travel case but I was using it to take my lunch in but since getting my Invisalign and now I need a heap of stuff for that well not a heap but I need to take toothpaste and my elastic bands and toothbrush and or and the case to put them in so I'm basically using this to keep all my Invisalign stuff in and a few other like toiletries in so I'll show you what I've got in that so again I think I said this was off eBay as well and they've got millions of different colors and they're super cheap I think this was like three dollars or something like that and again it fits a lot a lot in here so um see if i can do this a little bit neater all right so the first flap what i've got here is some steridin which is a like um what do you like they're like what you use for false teeth but also for your invisalign it's to soak them in to sterilize them and get rid of any bacteria and germs so when i'm normally if i do eat at work i will get take my Invisalign out put them in a glass with one of these tablets in and um, just sterilize them while I'm eating and then in the back here is just a packet of blotting papers for when you have your shiny skin now in here oh that was in there so in this pocket here this is all again for my Invisalign so I've got my packet of elastics because I actually have to use elastics with my Invisalign and this is a chewy which is like a little foam little foam piece that you actually are supposed to chew on for about 10 minutes a day or more um and i think it helps just to keep your invisalign molded to your teeth and then this is some wax that you can put if you're where the rubber bands attach those little bits that stick out can sometimes rub in your mouth um, you can just put a bit of wax on them. I haven't really needed to use it, but I just keep it in there for now. So that's in the first pocket. Then in here, um, I've just basically, what have I got in here? Um, just some little, uh, what are these? Like disposable floss sticks and just happens to be matching colors with <laughs> my theme. But I've just got a whole heap of them stuck in that little pocket there. So that's just to floss between your teeth. Um, and then in this next pocket, they're just some other little floss sticks that you can use to get in between your teeth. I think they were like free samples. So I just stick them in there. Um, and then this was just a cotton swab that um, I got when I had my wisdom teeth, my wisdom tooth removed. And then in the main section here, I've just got another pad because it was that time of the month this week. All right, so in the main section, I just have a little small um, bottle of talcum powder because like sometimes I hate the feeling of my skin touching another part of my skin. So like, you know, especially when it gets hot and sweaty and I don't know if it's a bit TMI, but if your boobies... <laughs> Your boobies are getting a bit, you know, needs a bit of talcum powder under there. <laughs> That's what I got that for. Just because, yeah, I just hate my skin sticking to each other, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I sometimes have to put it just underneath. Oh, God, that's way too much information. But anyway, that's what I got that for. Um, I've got some toothpaste and a toothbrush here that I keep at work, that I just use at work because you're supposed to brush your teeth every single time you eat something or any time that you remove your Invisalign, you brush your teeth. So I've pretty much gone from brushing my teeth once a day to probably about five, four or five times a day. Um, so yeah, they're definitely looking a lot cleaner. Um, this paddle pop stick, I actually use to take my Invisalign out 
they gave me this tool to do that with but to be honest this little paddle pop stick does the job way better and way easier so i just use that to actually take my invisalign out um only because my teeth it's like they're like really stuck on to my teeth so yeah this this just helps get the invisalign out so i just keep both of those in there in case i need them this is just one of those emery boards that i've already used some hand cream because my hands get quite dry some sanitizer this is a really nice fragrance if you can get this um, i don't know if it's just an australian fragrance but yeah japanese cherry blossom very refreshing every time i put it on people's like oh what's that perfume and it's just antibacterial gel um i also just keep in some um oil, hair oil serum because my hair gets quite fizzy and fly away so i just like to keep that in there just to give it a spritz if it needs it and this is my Invisalign um, little carry case. So if I'm not using it and they're not sitting in a glass of sterilized water, I just store them in there. Um, and like I said, it was that time of the month. So I just had an extra pad just in case. So that is pretty much it. So like I said, this um, little case as well as my water bottle and my cup they all stay at work and then everything else gets packed into my bag so I'll pack everything in my bag now and you can see how it looks okay so this is the bag all packed now so in this front pocket here is where I keep my spare shopping bag I just sit that in there in this pocket here is where I keep my house keys just so that they're handy and not getting lost in the bag. In this pocket, I actually keep my car keys. So I also keep them separate from my house keys, um, just so that they're easier to find. Um, like I said, I've got my security card for work in this pocket, and then there's nothing in this pocket. And then inside, I keep my planner in the back section, just so that it's separate from everything else and not getting damaged. And also with it being at the back, it keeps that back quite smooth. So when I'm holding it on my shoulder, there's nothing bulky sticking into me. And then in the front section here, I know it's a bit hard to see and it kind of all falls down anyway. Um, my deodorant's not in there yet. But I like to try and keep things standing up in my bag. Um, so it's a little bit hard to see, but all sort of sitting upright like that. So if you want something, you can just pull it straight out like that. Um, it just makes it easier to find things. Sometimes, I don't know if I like putting stuff in the pockets because the pocket tends to pull the bag down all the time as well. So yeah, I have my little cosmetic um, pouch there, my phone here my um what do you call it headphones there my deodorant and my glasses so that is my summer bag set up for 2020 i hope you enjoyed this video guys and i will see you in my next one thanks for watching